Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. This is Hayek Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and the Holy Bible is our only standard and authority for truth. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, friends, I trust that this finds you feeling crisp and ready for a new day to walk with your Lord and your Savior and your King. Now, it is actually, believe it or not, 345 in the morning here. I received the new computer back from the hospital earlier today, and I have been working feverishly to try to get a video out. And so, obviously, it's 3.30 in the morning, and I have other people in the house, <clears throat> and so I have to be very careful. And so I apologize if the volume is a little bit low. Um, I'm not speaking as loud as I normally do. Uh, but I just wanted to take this opportunity to tell you that we're going to start something new. We're going to begin with the book of Job. And what I'm going to do each day is I'm going to take a, a caption or a passage or a thought from one chapter of the book of Job, and we're going to do that every day so that you'll be ready. I would encourage you to read a chapter ahead each day so you know our next video will be discussing Job chapter 1. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to read Job chapter 1. Then the next day, read Job chapter 2, and you'll always be one day ahead and ready and, 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 and ready for what we're going to be talking about next. Um, now, this isn't going to be an in-depth study. Um, what, what I want to do is I just want to take the practical wisdom that we find in the book of Job, and I want to see how we can apply that to our lives from a man who lived before the flood, most likely during the time of Enoch, and yet here we are some 4,500, 4, 5,000 years later, and the truth still applies. Um, and so that's what we're going to be doing. I just wanted to let you know each day we'll do that. And if you guys like this, let me know. And when we finish the book of Job, which I believe is 42 chapters, so that'll be 42 days from now, we'll, we'll do another book the same way. And it won't be a book study as much. Uh, we won't be focusing on reading it word by word and verse by verse, but we'll read the, the chapter the day ahead and then we'll simply take a thought that the Lord lays upon our hearts out of that chapter and we'll discuss it very briefly and see how we can apply it to our lives so that we can be more committed in our dedication, in our allegiance, and our service to the Almighty and His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, through the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Well, I'm going to leave you with that, friends, and I do trust that you'll have a blessed day in Jesus today. I thank you for any prayers that you've offered uh, toward this ministry. Myself personally, uh, this has been quite an ordeal uh, for purchasing a brand new computer. I've never experienced anything like this, but hopefully we're going to be back on track within a couple of days. Tomorrow, of course, we'll get another video out. We'll be in Job chapter 1 as, a, as another reminder, and, um, and then hopefully we can start getting back into some of the Red Letter series, um, the Road to Calvary, uh, the hymnal series, um, and just do some studies that uh, would benefit you in your walk with the Lord. Um, I would encourage you, if you have any questions, anything that you want me to discuss with you or maybe share with others, um, because if you have a question, most likely other people do too, please um, put those questions in the description box. I don't allow a, a comment to go into the description box without reading it and replying to it in some form or manner. But if it's a question that is really upon your heart, let me know and I'll, I'll do a video on it. And we'll even break through the, you know, if we're in, this, in the Job series, for instance, um, and your question is pertinent, important to you, then what I'll do is um, I'll pause a day, I'll take a day aside, and I'll, I'll put a video out uh, specifically answering your question. Um, I want to say this very carefully because I take... Um, I take a lot of consideration in the fact of patting myself on the back or applying any praise to myself whatsoever. Uh, but several comments have been made by many of you that my knowledge of the Bible um, is pretty thorough. 
and your concern has been, is my relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ just as thorough? And I thank you for those questions. I've even done a video on that for another viewer uh, back about a month or two ago. So I, I encourage you to watch that. I simply say that to say this. Sometimes I can approach these things from a 12th grade level, so to speak. But if you're on a first grade level, a second grade level, and that means no offense to you whatsoever, but if you're on that level, I don't want to treat subject matter as if we're all in college when some of us are just starting out in this journey and we need to go back and we need to look at things from a first grade standpoint. And, and that's hard to do. I admit, I apologize for that, but, um, but I, I sometimes feel like I might take things for granted. I might expect you to understand or even appreciate certain passages in the Bible from a 12th grade standpoint because maybe that that's f from some of the comments that other people have told me, it appears that's where I may be. Man, I hate saying that. I really do. I don't I don't like taking any any pride in that whatsoever, but <clears throat> I have studied the Bible for a very long time. I love the Word of God. It's my, it's my life's joy. And, um, and I just know that, it, that sometimes um, I've got to step off of a pedestal of, of, of preaching and, and just really get down and be real and answer some serious questions um, from a child's perspective. Um, and so again, I mean, I mean, no, uh, there's no bad intentions here whatsoever. I'm not, I'm not looking down on anyone. I'm not speaking down to anyone. But hey, we all where we are in our journey. Some of us are further along in our journey. Some of us are further behind. And it's hard for those of us that may be further along in our journey to go back and put ourselves in the same position when we first started the journey, because we've forgotten a lot of those things. And so, if there's simple questions you have. Um, please ask them and I'll do my very best to answer them. And if I answer them in a video and, and it's over your head, just, just get back with me and let me know, you know, that, that was a little bit too complicated. Can you break it down a little bit more? I'll be happy to do that. This ministry is here for you. It's not for me to tout how much I know. And I know that that comes across a lot of times in the videos, but friends, if I, if I knew half of what I've forgotten, Oh man, uh, so I'm not quite as bright or intelligent as most of you give me credit uh, for, um, but my life's work has been invested into the Word of God, and if I can do anything to pass that on to you and to help you better understand, that's the purpose of this ministry. It's not here for us to put out big theological uh, studies each and every video. It's here to talk on a very practical level so that you can learn what it means to live a holy life before the Lord Jesus Christ. And so if I can help you in any way, please let me know. Read the book of, uh, of Job, the very first chapter, and that's what we'll be talking about on our next video. I'm going to close for now, try to get some shut eye. I've got about maybe five, six hours sleep if I'm lucky. And, um, and so please um, continue to pray for us as we take our next step into this, maybe all of our problems with these computers are behind us and, uh, and we can move forward and we can really anticipate some great things from the Lord. I truly love you, friends. I'm so grateful that you're with us. I pray that the Lord Jesus will bless your journey today, that your mind will be upon the things of God alone, that you'll, for, that you'll, you'll continue to forsake the things of this world and that praise will be upon your lips and joy will be in your hearts. I love you. I'll see you on the next video.